It's kind of taking the best of Splinter Cell and just kind of building out on that and making something that feels really kind of well balanced and, and well rounded. I will say that the cold, hardened killer is amazing fun to play. It's fun facing off against, uh, against Sam Fisher. Playing Sam Fisher is easy. He's, he's an iconic character. So it's, first of all, it's an honor. It really is. I used to have Splinter Cell back in the day. The goggles acting is, again, using your imagination. That's what you do. The one amazing thing about Sam Fisher is that there are, there's such an amazing backstory. And it's, he's, where he's just like the perfect killing machine. Actually, underneath that, there are layers and layers and layers of you know, emotion and motivation and, um, and humanity to this character. And I think the one brilliant thing about this is that, you know, particularly with this sort of inclusion of his daughter, Sarah Fisher, that that comes to the fore. The one thing you gotta do. To think. Not just to think. To feel. To feel just like your prey feels. Exactly. I am Daisy Head, and I am playing Sarah Fisher, daughter of. Feel like your prey feels. Where I go, you go. Understood. Understood. Sarah Fisher in Splinter Cell, she's had to face some significant challenges in her life. Not having her father around in her most formative years, it's really nice to see what kind of pulled them apart is actually now what's uniting them. He's swinging in the window. Of course he is. I must want to be coming here. I really hope that fans of the Splinter Cell game will enjoy this. It's fun facing off against the uh, against Sam Fisher. But with a lockbreaker that can eat through any firewall in existence. I play uh, Brody Teague, who is a sort of tech billionaire uh, philanthropist, although uh, you know, how philanthropic he is is definitely something that uh, comes into question. It's bleeding edge tech that is two decades past any conventional systems currently in operation. It's something called a quantum computer. It's kind of taking the best of Splinter Cell and just kind of building out on that and making something that feels really kind of well balanced and, and well rounded. I will say that the cold hardened killer is amazing fun to play, particularly in audio drama because, so you're there, you're jumping off ships and you're throwing yourself down elevator shafts. If you're abseiling down the side of a building and then firing into the you know, window and then smashing through and throwing grenades, so it might look absolutely ridiculous to an observer when you're recording it, but for you as an actor and to, to feeling an emphasis and sound to, the, uh, to your voice, I absolutely love him and I love him. He's fantastic. <laughs>